guys, welcome to Danny B. I'm Danny B. And today we're gonna be making this most delicious dip or side dish, call it whatever you want, made of tahini and chickpeas called hummus. If you want to learn how to make it the easy way and the most delicious way, keep watching. First things first, let's dye your hair up. We don't want, we don't want hair in the food, do we? So this is the easiest recipe ever and it is like from the cradle where it really belongs and it's here in Turkey. Um, living in Turkey has taught me how to appreciate different flavors and different dishes. I must admit that I'm not really a fan of each and every flavor here, but I do love hummus and I think it's really good for you and really, really delicious. So this is how we're gonna do it. Chickpeas, about a 14 ounce can, 400 grams. So there you go. Eat extra virgin olive oil. There you go. Commercial for them. We're gonna need tahini. Tahini is a sesame paste. Where can you find it? You can find it in specialized stores or you can find it in your local Asian market or you can find it in a local market depending on where you come from. Depending on your area, it is really easy to find even in your regular grocery store. Measuring spoons, sesame seeds. I can use a food processor, but I don't own one. So this is what I'm gonna use, the easy one, the handy mix thing. So first off, you wanna take your chickpeas, you wanna rinse them. You wanna pour the extra water that comes in it out. Just you don't want it watery. You really don't want that. So let's do this job first. First you have to mash and mush these guys. So let's start adding the olive oil so it is nice and creamy. We still have a lot of blending to do, just a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I tend to put a little more and spit. And also we need some for garnish. There we go. A little bit more mixing. I actually prefer the hand mixer to the food processor because it leaves a consistency and a texture in it that you just really want to have. So let's keep mixing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You see, we don't really like um, what's happening here. So we need to give it a mix and get the paste that is sitting in the bottom to come to top and make this homogeneous mixture. So there you go. It needs a little bit of a stir. There you go. A quarter of a cup of tahini. In it goes. It's really nice if you have kosher salt. I, I don't have kosher salt. I don't think we can find kosher salt in Turkey. If we do, please let me know whoever is watching me in Turkey. So for salt, we have half of a teaspoon. Of course, we taste for salt. We don't want anything too salty or unsalted. So the juice of one lemon. Mm -hmm. 
So. You put the knife on top of the bottom and then you uh, press it with your hand. Right. You want it finely chopped because you don't want people to bite into a big piece of garlic. Right? That would be unpleasant. So. Now, I think we're about to be done. So, what we had. 400 grams or 14 ounce can of um, chickpeas. We had half a cup of olive oil, extra virgin. We had some salt, we had half of a teaspoon of salt, fresh lemon juice, the juice of one fresh lemon. We had two cloves of garlic, quarter of a cup of tahini, or sesame paste. For somebody who doesn't really like cooking, not bad at all. So we're ready for presentation. You see, I already cooked in the bowl where I'm gonna serve. All practical. You want your sesame seeds to be roasted. So here they are in the natural form, and here's if you roast them in a skillet or a pan, it doesn't matter for about two to three minutes. They will get roasty like they don't need to add anything to it. Just the sesame seeds. So in they go now as garnish. And sweet now. We want everything to look pretty. Guys, it literally took me five minutes to make this. Like, not even funny. Let's have a taste. This is what it's gonna look like. Oh my god, it's so good. So, here we are. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm not a cook. I barely cook. But this is a must, must have, must try once in a lifetime dish. Hummus. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope to see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. This is my second video on this channel. I have another channel, but for my channel in English, this is my second video and I would love, love to get to know you and would love your subscription. So you can leave your comments if you have any questions about this recipe that is so, so easy to do, trust me. Let me know, ask me in the comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. Mm, so good. Oh my God, it's too good. Actually, it's too good. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you soon. It's bye for now. So good. <laughs>